I think we're good. It's been years since I last uploaded a video and I feel horrible for it, but I have filmed tons and tons of videos. They're just collecting dust on my hard drive, but it's 2024 and we're gonna change that. I thought it would be a great idea to recap 2023 specifically because I feel that it was probably the most transformative years of my life. Uh, I started off 2023 as a high school student and I finished 2023 off becoming a college student, which is pretty crazy to think of. Like I'm in college now, like what the hell? So I thought I'd recap the highlights of 2023. Starting off, my first highlight is turning 18. I actually spent my birthday um, with my family on a tulip field, which was really nice. It was really muddy and kind of cloudy, but I was there with family, so it made everything better. Early last year, I was going to my aunt's work a lot. She works at a performing arts school. And because I was like so intrigued and everything, I ended up crashing her work trip to Los Angeles. Uh, to keep things vague, uh, to my knowledge, the graduating students are to put on a show basically selling off their best abilities. And this happens both in New York and in LA and I ended up flying across the country. It was amazing, it was like the best experience of my life. Uh, I have made memories that I will never forget. I've met people that I will never ever forget. I worked with the group 52, I, okay, worked is a little too professional, but I have no other word. But um, I worked with group 52 and if any of you guys are watching, if anyone from group 52 is watching, I adore you. Uh, you guys are a talented group of people and I see so much potential in you guys and I can only hope that everything works out for you. As an outsider looking in, their relationship and their friendship with each other is just so admirable and like I just I just loved seeing the camaraderie and the support that they have for each other. It, it's so heartwarming and very wholesome to see. It was lovely watching you guys perform both in New York and in LA. It was such a great experience. And thank you to my aunt and everyone who was behind everything. Um, speaking of, I also got serenaded by Group 52, which was by far the best happy birthday I've ever received in my entire life. It was like very impromptu and I remember we were in rehearsal right before the LA show and they were talking, I was just minding my business. I'm just there to observe and to do little tasks that, you know, that'll help my aunt. And all of a sudden they just started singing and you know, these, these people are really talented. They, they have voices and there was a piano in the room and it was just like a whole beautiful thing. And I, my only regret is not getting it on video because that was like, it was beautiful, it was beautiful. So thank you again, Group 52, you guys are the best. Um, also, during that week I was in LA, I met two celebrities. I mean, okay, I'm a New Yorker, okay? So like, meeting celebrities is not very normal, at least for me, because, you know, I don't leave the house. But like, two celebrities in one week, that was insane to me. So the first, <laughs> first celebrity that I met was Mr. Pedro Pascal. This was like shocking, but like also not shocking at the same time because one of the lovely, lovely students in group 52 is actually related to Pedro. So like it wasn't a surprise that he would show up. But then again, like he's such a great actor and he's in Hollywood. And so like being in the same room, I was like, oh, I was like, oh my God. So um, I got a photo with him. Lux, if you're watching, um, you're the better sibling, period. Who, e who even is Pedro? I don't even know him. Second celebrity that I met was Emma Roberts. I've seen her in Nerve, American Horror Story, Scream Queens, Holiday, Holiday and Nerve are like my favorite, one of my favorite movies. So like seeing her IRL was like, and the way that it happened was that my aunt and I just sitting at our gate you know, minding her own business, and then I look up and 
Emma Roberts is standing there. And I was like, oh my god, I know her. Like, I know her. Like, it took me a while to like gain the courage to actually be like, hey, like, I love your work. Um, but she was super nice. Both Pedro and Emma were like super, super nice, which made the experience like less nerve wracking. Moving on, in June, I finally graduated high school. Oh my God, oh my God. High school was not for me at all. I absolutely hated high school. To me, my high school experience is probably equivalent to something being thrown out a window because it was, it was bad. My freshman year was going off grade, starting off grade, and then it was cut like right around spring break. And then they were like, oh, School is going to be closed for two weeks, and then the two weeks turned into two months, and then the whole year was, like, non-existent. And then senior year, I was just over it, and I was like, I need to get out of here. Uh, it ended up being such a great thing because college is, like, an, a, a, like the best. Never in my life have I ever, like, voluntarily said, oh, my God, I love school. But I say it all the time now that I'm in college, like... Um, in August, um, I went to a concert. I saw Five Seconds of Summer with You Know Who, Ella. We had the best time. We danced the night away. We went to the concert on August 21st. Um, and August 24th, like a few days later, was like my college move-in day. So that was like one of the last things that I did before moving in, which is like crazy. Speaking of, um, August 24th was college move-in day and to keep things short that whole day was both exciting and both scary at the same time because if you don't know I'm an only child and I'm like you know my whole entire life I've lived with my parents so them dropping me off and like me kind of like living on my own um it was very scary but it was so exciting so it was, I was just like confused and sad and excited at the same time. I dorm on campus and I live in a suite with like seven other people. So there's eight of us in total and it's a blast in our suite. Like, I love my roommates. When I say I love my roommates, I love my roommates. Like, so next highlight is from November. And in November, I saw the 1975 live. Now that was insane to say the least. Uh, all I have to say is I had a blast and Robbers Live, their song, they have a song, Robbers Live, is life-changing. Like, yes, hearing the studio version is one thing, but then hearing the live version of Robbers, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, it's crazy. Like, there was tears in my eyes, I was crying, it's so beautiful. Also, another song that they performed, it, it was actually off of their debut album, it's a song called You. Um, and that song makes me feel like I'm in a movie, and I always play it, it's so great. This took me off guard. Um, they played that, and insert clip. Oh my god, shut up! Yeah, that was crazy. I'm so grateful. Yeah, the 1975 was great, love them. Next highlight, in December, I played pickleball for the first time. Crazy thing, the second I move, into college my parents have a life I mean okay that sounds <laughs> that sounds really mean the second I move into college my parents do all this fun stuff like the second I moved into college they took the ping pong table out when have we like when have we ever played ping pong the second I moved to college they suddenly play pickleball and I don't know since I'm on break right now they took me with them and I was like, no, I'm not gonna play, I'm not gonna play. And then I ended up playing and it was the best thing of my life. But yeah, obviously I spent the holidays with my family. Greatest time of the year. I've been on break since December, almost like almost like a month, um, December 13th. Um, today is January 12th at 1.30 a.m. Cause like, what is the best, better time to do this? So yeah, that concludes my recap of 2023. That was my 2023 in a nutshell. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You will hopefully be hearing from me often. One of my New Year's resolutions is to post more. So I'm gonna try to implement that and editing and everything and filming into my new schedule. So yeah, um, that concludes this video. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe.
I hope to see you guys soon. <laughs> Bye.